OK, I'm going to work out some percentage of questions. But in these particular questions, I'm not going to work them out using a pencil and paper method. I'm going to show you how to use a calculator. The first question I'm going to look at is 23% of 47. Now, the way we need to think about this is what does 23% mean? 23% means, of course, 23 out of 100. When we use the word of in mathematics, quite often it means multiplication. So we're going to work out 23 out of 100, 23%, multiplied by 47. The alternative to this, instead of thinking of 23 out of 100, is to think of the percentage as a decimal. And most people can work that 23% as a decimal by sticking a decimal point in the front, 0.23. Remember, that decimal is exactly the same as this fraction. It's just a different way of writing it. So, when we use our calculator, we can do 23 divided by 100 times by 47, or we can write 0 0.23 multiplied by 47. Both ways, we can use our calculator to work this out. 0 0.23 times 47 gives us the answer 10.81. In exactly the same way, if I take 47, multiply it by the top number, divide by the bottom number, okay, so 23 multiplied by 47, and divide by the bottom number 100, I also get 10.81. So both methods are equally as good, and you can choose which method you prefer to use. Here's another example. 64% of 97. Now remember, you can rewrite 64% as either a fraction, 64 out of 100, and multiply by 97. Or you can rewrite 64% as a decimal and multiply by 97. Either way, these two sums will work out 64% of 97. Use your calculator to work out the answer, 62.08. 64 multiplied by 97 divided by 100, or 0.64 multiplied by 97. Both of those give the same answer to 64% of 97. Here's a few more examples. 7% of 312. Now, 7% can either be written as a fraction, 7% multiplied by 312, 7 out of 100, or as a decimal, 0 0.07 multiplied by 312. Remember, because it's 7%, it's 0 0.07. What about 12.5% of 53? Well, we can write this as a fraction, 12.5 out of 100, and multiply by 53. Your calculator will work if you put 12.5 or 12.5 multiplied by 53 and then divide by 100, even though we normally don't bother writing a fraction with a fraction on top. If you want to write this as a decimal, 0.12 is 12%. 0 0.125 is 12.5%. We need to multiply that by 53. 